Hi guys, I'm Cynthia and in today's tutorial we'll be making a Lumi Groomy Mario Mushroom. So this is the one I made but the one that I'll be making in this tutorial is slightly different because I joined the rounds here. I don't really like it so I'll be making the stock and the cap separately and I'll be doing it in a turquoise jelly. So let's just get started. So what I want to do now is I just want to make the spots. So I'll be making one spot and I'll be making one eye and then just uh, do one spot one eye go back to the beginning of the video uh, repeat the spot another two times and then run another spot in an eye and I think that should be the least painful way to get through that all right starting with the spot so we want to start with the white band so take a white band and what you're going to do is you're going to wrap this band around your hook two times to create three loops so there's three loops on your hook you're going to make a magic ring with six stitches so to do that you're just going to pull up another white band pull those three loops or your, that's what you call your capping band onto that band and reclaim the end and you're going to tie a slip stitch by pulling this end through here so this is a slip stitch and this is your first stitch of your magic ring so what you're going to do you're going to go back through the center of that capping band I'm holding on to it so it's a little bit easier just put it through the center and you're going to do five single crochets so to do a single crochet you're going to pull up a band you're going to pull it through the capping band only reclaim the end so you have three bands on your hook and you pull this one through everything so that's a single crochet so that's your second stitch in your magic ring so you're going to go back through the center of that capping band again pull up another white band to do a single crochet so through the white loops only, so the capping band, we claim the end and pull this through everything. So that's three stitches in your magic ring. You want to do that another three more times. So put your hook through the center of the capping band. Another single crochet. Once again, pull that through the center single crochet you want to do that one more time so now it's a little bit easier to see you can just put easily put your hook through and then you're going to do one more single crochet okay so just to check that you have six stitches in that magic ring you're just going to turn this around and you're going to count these teardrop shaped stitches so this is one this is two, three, four, five, and the six stitches on your hook. So that's your magic ring with six stitches. So for round two of your uh, spot, you need to increase it to 12 stitches. So you want to do an increase in each one of the stitches all the way around. An increase is just two single crochets in one stitch. So just to start off with, put your hook through that first teardrop. So you know where to put your hook when you pull the stitches out, you're just putting it under the teardrop, so there's a space there. As you can see, the space is here. Your first stitch of your second round will be a slip stitch, just to close up the circle. This counts as one stitch. Slip stitch, just pull this through everything. You have two bands here, and then pull this through, so that's one slip stitch. You're going to take a, a stitch marker, I like to use a C-clip. Just to mark the first stitch of that round, I'm clipping it on to the band on my hook. Okay, so that's one stitch. I need an increase, so I need to go back through that same stitch I went through. And I'm going to do a single crochet. Okay, so that's your increase. So you want to move on to your next stitch, and you want two single crochets in the next stitch. So single crochet, go back through that same stitch, this is your increase, this is another single crochet, like so. Alright, you're moving on to your next stitch, which is here, you're doing an increase again, so that's two single crochets in this stitch. So single crochet, you just pull up a band through that stitch, reclaim the end and pull it through everything. So I'm going back through the same stitch for my increase. Once again, single crochet. I'm putting my finger here so it might be a bit easier to see. So next stitch. 
single crochet through the same stitch single crochet okay next stitch single crochet back through the center sorry not the center through that stitch single crochet okay so you have one more stitch so you want to do the same thing and increase so that's two single crochets in this stitch back through Okay, so this is round two, it has 12 stitches. So for round three, you only need one more round, you need to increase it to 18 stitches. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna do a single crochet in your first stitch, and increase in your second stitch, and you're gonna do that all the way around. So how do I know it's the first stitch of the round? It's the one with your marker on it. So you're gonna go through that stitch, and you're gonna do one single crochet. You're going to move this, so take this off and put it on the band on your hook. So once you've done one single crochet, your next stitch has an increase, so you need two single crochets in this stitch. Go back through, increase, next stitch, you have one single crochet. Your next stitch has an increase, so that's two single crochets in this stitch. Next stitch, you have one single crochet. Next stitch has an increase, so two single crochets. Go back through for your increase. Next stitch, one single crochet. Okay, next stitch has an increase, so that's two single crochets in this stitch. Okay. Next stitch, one single crochet. Next stitch, you have an increase. And you're going to do that one more time. So, next stitch has one single crochet. Okay, in your next or last stitch of the round, you have an increase, so that's two single crochets in this stitch. So now you've finished one spot, what you're going to do, you're going to fasten off by putting your hook through the first stitch of the round. You're going to tie a slip stitch, so you're pulling this band through everything, including the band on your hook. And you're going to tie a slip stitch. I'm going to take a clip, I'm using an S clip, and I'm just going to fasten it on to the end so the band won't slip off and I'm taking off my marker. So this is one spot, so putting that aside, let's start with the eye. So the eye, what you're going to do, you're going to start off with a white band, you're going to wrap this around your hook four times to create five loops. So there's five loops here, one, two, three, four, five, so this is your capping band. You're going to chain three for black but you're going to double loop it so you're going to take a black band you're going to double loop it by doing a figure of eight and you're going to chain it by pulling this capping band onto that black band you claim the end so this is one chain i'm going to take another black band and double loop i'm going to chain again so just pulling all of this on and reclaiming the end. I want one more chain. 
it's double loop black. Pull that on. Chain it. Okay, you're going to take another black band. You're going to fasten off by tying a slip stitch. You don't need to double loop this band. So just pull this through everything. Reclaim the end. And pull this tight. So this is your fasten off or your slip stitch. What you're going to do now, turn this around. You're going to put your hook through this white capping band. I know it's a bit difficult because it's quite tight. But just put it through like this. You're going to grab one more black band. You don't need to double loop it. And you're just going to tie another slip stitch through this end. Okay? So now you've done one eye. So you need to go back to the beginning of the video. You need to make in total four spots and two eyes. So as I said, you can uh, go to the beginning, repeat the spots another two times, and go back to the beginning and do a spot and an eye. And that should be done. And we'll continue on with the cap. Okay, so for the cap, this part of the ma mushroom, I'm making it in turquoise jelly and I've been using turquoise jelly a lot because I got, I got them at half price at Spotlight so I have a lot of them. So let's start off with a magic ring with 8 stitches. So as usual, take this band, wrap it around your hook 2 times so you have 3 loops. So this is your capping band. So your first stitch of your magic ring will be a slip stitch. So just pull this capping band onto that band, reclaim the end and pull this through that band. So this is a slip stitch but it's also your first stitch of your magic ring. So I'm holding it on like this. Just put your hook through the center of the capping band and you're going to do seven single crochets. So I'll just move a little bit faster. This is a single crochet. Second stitch. single crochet. This is your third stitch. So every time go back through the center of that capping band. Single crochet. This is your fourth stitch. Single crochet. This is your fifth stitch. Single crochet. This is six. It's a little bit easier to see the hole now, so just put it through. Single crochet. Seven. And I need one more single crochet. Okay. I just want to check that I have the right number of stitches. So one, two, three, four, five six, seven, and the eighth one is on my hook. Okay, so for round two of the cap, we need to increase to 16 stitches. So that's just an uh, increase in each stitch. So that's two single crochets in each stitch. Your first stitch, you want to close up that circle a little bit or the ring a little bit by doing a slip stitch. So this counts as one stitch. Oops, let me do that again. So like I said, this counts as one stitch. So make sure you count the slip stitch. So I've got my C-clip, I'm just going to clip that on. So I need to go through that same stitch to do my single crochet. Alright, so I'm just going to do two single crochets in each stitch from now on. I'm moving faster because you should have um, gotten used to doing this when you're doing the spots. Okay, so this is the last one. Oops. 
Let me just double check. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oops, I have one more. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this is round two, it has 16 stitches. So for round three, you want to increase to 24 stitches. And to do that, we're just doing a single crochet in the first stitch, increase in the second one, and we're doing that all the way around. So going through your first stitch, single crochet. Okay, next stitch has an increase. So two single crochets in this stitch. Next one, single crochet, next stitch, increase, okay next one, one single crochet, Next stitch, increase. Next one, single crochet. Next stitch, increase. Next one, single crochet, next one, increase, next one, single crochet, next one, increase, Next one, single crochet, next one, increase, so you're doing that one more time, next one, single crochet, next one, or the last stitch, increase. Okay, so this is round 3 which has 24 stitches, so for round 4 you need to increase it to 32 stitches. So it's a single crochet in the first 2 stitches, increase in the 3rd one and you do that all the way around. So I'm just going to count up to 2, so 1, 2, every time I say a number it's just a single crochet in 1 stitch. So 1, 2 increase 1 2 Increase one, two, increase. One, two, increase, one, 
one. Two. Increase. One. Two. Increase. One. Two. Increase. One, two, and one final increase. Okay, so that's round four, which has 32 stitches. So for round five, we need another round of 32 stitches. So it's just a single crochet all the way around. No increases, no nothing, so this is pretty straightforward. I don't need to say anything, it's just one round. Just do a single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so I just finished round 5, that has 32 stitches also. Okay, so for round 6, we want to increase it to 40 stitches. To do this, we're just going to do a single crochet in the first 3 stitches, and then increase in the next one, and we're do doing that all the way around. So as usual, I'm just going to count 
up to three. So every time I say number, it's just a single crochet in one stitch. So one, two, three, increase, one, two, three, increase, one, two, three, increase, one, two, Three, increase, one, two, three, Increase one, two, three, increase. One, two, three, increase, one, Two, three, and increase in the last stitch. Okay, so this is round six. So for round seven, you need another round of 40 stitches. So to do that, it's just a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So no increases very straightforward. Just do a single crochet in each stitch. Oops.
Okay, so this is round 7 done. So for round 8, you need to increase it to 48 stitches. So that we're just doing a single crochet in the first 4 stitches and increase in the next one. And we're doing that all the way around. So let's do this one. Oops. Two. Three, four, increase, one, Two, 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 three, four, and an increase in the last stitch. Okay, so this is round eight, which has forty eight stitches. 
Okay, so now for rounds 9 to 13, we need another 5 rounds of 48 stitches. So that's another 5 rounds of just single crochets in each stitch, but I'm giving you an option here. I'm doing 5 rounds, but for this mushroom I did 3, so you can, if you don't have enough bands, you can do 3. You don't need to do 5, but I'll be doing 5 for this tutorial. So you're just going to take the 5 or 3 bands, and you're just going to put it on your table. One, two, three, four, five. So every time you start a round, just take a band from here so it can keep, help you keep track of how many rounds you're doing. So I'll do one round with you. So I'm taking a band from here. So you're just doing single crochets all the way around.
Okay, so this is the end of my round nine. So I'm just gonna start round 10, taking a band from here. All right, so I'm gonna do my remaining four rounds off camera. So just pause the video here. Depending on how many uh, rounds you, or how big you wanna make it, you can either do your additional two rounds or additional four rounds. Uh, do that first and then resume the video once you've completed those rounds. Hi guys, so I finished round 13 with 48 stitches, so I have something that looks like this. So let's just continue on with round 14, we want to decrease to 36 stitches. So to do this, we want to do a single crochet in the first two stitches, and then we want to decrease over the next two stitches, and we do this all the way around. So let's start with our first uh, two single crochets, I mean single crochet in the first two stitches. So this is one. Next one, single crochet. Alright, so now we want to do a decrease. So for a decrease, we're basically turning these two stitches into one stitch. So how we're going to do that, as usual, just put your hook through the first stitch. You're going to twist your hook. You're going to put it through the stitch next to that, so you have two stitches on your hook. You're going to do a single crochet, so you're going to pull this band through those two stitches, so you're treating it like one. You're going to reclaim the end and then you just pull this through that. So that's one decrease, so we're just going to do that all the way around. So start with a single crochet in the first two stitches. Okay, and now you're going to do another decrease. So once again, just put your hook through the next stitch, twist it and put it through the next stitch. Pull up a band through both of those stitches. And then you're just going to pull that end through everything. So once again, this is one, two, and then you're going to do a decrease. So hook in, twist, next stitch, pull this band through those two stitches, reclaim and pull through everything. So I think you got the idea. Let's just move a little bit faster. So one, two, and decrease. One, and decrease one two and decrease One, two, decrease, one, two, decrease, One, two, decrease, Oops, let me do that again, one, Two, decrease, one, 
one, two, decrease, one, two, and one last decrease. <clears throat> okay, so this is round uh, 14, which has 36 stitches. So you want, for round 15, you want another round of 36 stitches. So for this round, we're just gonna do a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So very straightforward, no decreases, just a single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so now I've completed round 15. Okay, 
which has 36 stitches, sorry. And then uh, we want one more round in the body colour of this turquoise jelly colour. So for round 16, we want to uh, decrease it to 18 stitches. And to do that, what you're going to do is just decreases all the way around. So you have 18 decreases, so there's no more single crochets, it's all decreases. So pretty straightforward, but um, if you're using jelly bands, it can be a bit slippery, so just take your time. I've had instances where um, when I use jelly bands, I do decreases, the whole thing unravels. So yeah, just take your time and my clip is stuck. Okay, yeah, so just do decreases all the way, make sure you do 18. Okay, so I'm done with that. So what I want to do, I just want to fasten it off. So go through the first stitch and I just want to tie a slip stitch. So if you're using jelly bands, also be careful because the slips, uh, the bands are slippery so the slip stitch might come out. So you really need to just clip the end. So I'm getting my S clip. Just to make sure it doesn't come out. Alright, from now on we're just going to, uh, wait for now, we're just going to stuff the cap. So just take your fibre fill. got a lot here and just stuff wait let me just take out this clip that was my uh, stitch marker by the way so don't take out the one that's holding the loose band Okay, stuff until you're happy. I think that's about it for me. So we're done with the the turquoise bands uh, for me. You can do red, obviously. So now we're just going to do the stem, and then we'll just join it and put everything together. Okay, for the stem, I'm using some like light yellow band. This is not the original Rainbow Loom band. Uh, you can use white. I can't find this color in the original bands without having to pick out a pastel from a pastel pack, so I'm just going to use this. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do with the stem, first of all we want to start with a magic ring with six stitches. So just wrap this band around your hook two times to create three loops. Your first stitch, just do a slip stitch. This is your first stitch of your magic ring. 
and then you want to go back through the center and you want to do five single crochets so that's your first stitch this is your second one so back through the center this is your third stitch back through the center this is four five and six alright so for round two of the stem we want to increase it to 12 stitches so we're just going to do an increase in each stitch so that's two single crochets in each stitch but to close up this round our first stitch of our second round we're going to do a slip stitch so this counts as one stitch your first stitch of your second round sorry I'm going to clip that back through for single crochet these bands are a little bit more sticky so it might be a little bit slower for me to do it okay from now on it's just two single crochets in each stitch so an increase in each stitch Okay, now I'm just going to count and see whether I have 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so for your third round, you want to increase it to 18 stitches. And to do that, it's just a single crochet in your first stitch, increase in your second, and you do that all the way around. So 1, 1 increase 1 increase 1 increase One increase one and increase. Okay. these bands are horrible to do this with they're so sticky it doesn't really glide onto my hook properly okay so this is round three so for rounds four to seven you need an additional four rounds of 18 stitches so it's just a single crochet in each stitch for four rounds so I have my bands here one two three four so every time I say round, I'm taking a band from here so let's start with round four. I'm just going to do all four rounds with you since it's just 18 stitches. 
So just remember just single crochet in each stitch for 4 rounds. So I just finished round 4, just going to start round 5. Okay, so this is round 5, so I'm starting round 6. And also, to be completely honest, I don't really know what it will look like uh, if I'm detaching the stock and the cap, but I think it should be okay. I didn't like the joining seam for the one piece.
Okay, so this is round six done. So I'm round, starting round seven, which is my last round. I don't know why these bands keep doing that. They're sticky and slippery at the same time. I don't know how to describe them. They're just not very good to use. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're done with this. We just want to fasten off the end. So you go through the first stitch and you're just going to tie a slip stitch and I'm just going to clip the end. Okay, there we go. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, we want to stuff his stock. So just take your fiber fill, a little bit will do. Okay, so now you want to take the body. Um, hang on, let me just stuff a bit more actually. Okay, so now we want to take the body of the cap. So, what you want to do, you want to match up the stitches. So you're going to go through any stitch in the cap and you're going to go through the stitch in the stock. I'm going to take my yellow band and I'm just going to slip stitch. I'm just going to do this all the way around.
Okay, I'm just going to stop here for a while. I think I want to stuff a little bit more on the stock because it's looking a little bit flat. Okay. Okay, let me just continue now. Okay, so this is my last slip stitch. I'm taking a clip and I'm stuffing this end into the body or the cap. So now you just want to shape it a little bit. So that's what it looks like now. So we're just going to attach the spots now. Okay, so you're taking a spot can take anyone, position it anywhere you want. The first one's fine. Take out this clip, put this on your hook. So now you're grabbing your white bands. What you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch this onto the body. So go through some of the body bands, and then go through the stitch in the spot, and then you're just going to slip stitch. all the way around, so just do this all the way around. These spots are a bit smaller than the one I did for the red one, but um, the, the other one was a bit too big and I wanted all the four spots to be the same size, not uh, that one, two of them were smaller, two of them were bigger. So it's okay if it's a little bit smaller, once you slip stitch it on, it will just get one, like one row bigger. Oops.
Okay, I want to just do one more. Alright, so after this I'm just going to take that clip I took off. I'm going to clip it back onto the end. And I'm just going to stuff this into the body. I keep calling it the body, but yeah, it's basically the body. So that's one spot attached. So you want to take another one. And you want to position it at the opposite end. So the opposite end for this one should be about roughly here. So we're doing the same thing. Um, yeah, taking out this clip. And we're just going to slip stitch all the way around. Okay, so this is my last one. So I'm just going to take the clip again. And clip the end and I'm going to stuff this into the body. Okay, so we have two more spots. Just shape it a little bit. Okay, so taking my third spot, I just want to position it in between those two. So here... Taking out this clip. Oops, this one came out. And same thing, just going to slip stitch all the way around.
Okay, I might have attached this spot a little bit too high, but it's alright. Okay, so this is the last one. So dicking my clip and stuffing this into the body. All right, so for the final spot, I'm placing it here. Taking out the clip. And once again, just slip stitching all the way around. Okay, so I'm done with the last spot, clipping the end again and stuffing this into the body. Okay, now once we attach the eyes, we're done. So take an eye. We want it so that it's right under the middle spot. So you can just um, place it wherever there's a spot. You want the capping band, the white capping band on top. So let's say I want to position it here. What you're going to do now, I'm turning on its side to make it a little bit easier. I'm putting this black band, the top one, onto my hook. I'm going through the body bands. I'm going to grab the other side of the black band or the other black band. I'm going to pull that through. As you can see, I've pulled it to this side. I want to take a clip. Preferably use, preferably use a uh, S clip for this. Just clip this end. 
and I'm going to use the other end of the S clip to clip these two bands. Um, hold on, let me just do that again. Like this. So what you're going to do, you're going to rotate the eye. So you're going to stuff the clip into the body. And then that is one eye attached. So you're going to do the same thing with the other eye. Take your other eye. Mine is rotating a little bit. You just might need to adjust it. You want to place it next to it. So um, for me, I think here will do. Sorry, you can't really see. I'm just going to do that again. Put this black band onto my hook. Go into the body. Grab the other black band, pull that black band through, through this one. I'm taking another S clip. So I'm clipping this end, the one that's on my hook, taking my hook out. And I'm using the other end of the S clip to clip these two black bands. Okay, then I'm just going to rotate the eye so the clip goes into the body. And there you go. Yamaro mushroom is done. Alright, so there he is. So this is the one with um, the five rounds. This is the one with the three rounds. It's a little bit bigger, as you can see, it's a little bit taller. So these are the two. So if you really like this video, or you like this video, and you enjoyed watching it, and you enjoy making it, please give this video a big thumbs up, and do subscribe to my channel. I'll be making more Lumi Groomy in the future, and if you have requests, please let me know. I'll do my best to, to get them done. Um, I will tend to do the ones which I have uh, colours for, as in the bands available, but um, I will try and get around to doing everything. So these are the two mushrooms. I hope you like it, and I'll see you guys for the next video.